Welcome back guys to some more Persona 5 and just to give you an idea of what's about to go on in about five or four days Team Sonic Racing comes out so I'm about to start a playthrough on that and I just finished recording about eight episodes of Xenoblade thinking it was gonna rain and it didn't rain today so I'm here to record some Persona 5 and I got a lot of episodes after I do but I wanted to show you guys the calendar so if you recognize, this is today, right? I noticed a while back off camera that you can scroll all the way to March. So March 31st is the last day possible. But I believe the present day is somewhere in here, right? We're, we're talking to Sainijima. So all I'm trying to say is that after that, there's a lot left in the game. So we're going to see. But right now... We got a meeting Everyone. with Yoshida. Good evening. Uh, Scorch's doing all right, I think. And yeah, I would really like to listen to this. Let's help him out. Everyone. The conviction of a government is often tested during times of turmoil. However, the current administration Huh. That's because they're doing it. You know, I should have thought about it, but uh, since the guy who put threw us in jail, who's in the diet, I'm pretty sure, you know, they're making the laws on, like, Goro, who, by the way, all right, by the way, traitor, all right, Goro's a traitor, 100%, straight up. I'm not saying I've been spoiled on it. I'm saying... After I rewatched that scene and I saw that Morgana, you know, he, he recognized Morgana. I'm like, oh, it's him. Oh, it's him. Like, I was like, I went from being 78% 78 sure to like 99.99. .99. Although there is that 1%, 0 0.1% 0 0 or 0.01% chance that I'm wrong. But I feel like he he's the guy. All right. So that's what I'm going to go with from now on. And he was saying that according to the law. But we know that there's a corrupt politician making the laws. So, maybe connection there. Anyways. Yeah. Diet member Shido. Wait, was Shido his friend? I forgot. Uh, he's not stealing ideas. Why are you even here, bro, if you don't like him? Yeah. Um, what's... You're annoying that... Well, no, because that not, might not be true. Um, I'm going to say stop interrupting him. Yeah! <laughs> uh, what do you think? The ex-convict has a point. Listen to what he has to say. Um, so what if he's no good, Tora? You know, I'm gonna say that. All right. So what? Yes, I am no good, Tora, and I have made mistakes. Yes, I am unpopular and powerless. But that has nothing to do with my arguments. These are things I've learned from all my hardships. Yes. You can ridicule, ridicule me all you want, but I will continue to oppose what is wrong with this world. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Yeah, I was like, you know, it doesn't matter. Like, stop looking at the person. Look, in the, look at what they're saying. Although... There are pros and cons. There are reasons that you should look at a person and things that you shouldn't. But it's like, it, clearly, you know, he's trying to speak about the right... Well, hatred blinds all, and I know him, so it's easy for me to say that. But even, you know, when I was just passing by, I was like, he's saying some good things. The highlight was my yelling. I just spoke the truth. But don't overdo it. You should avoid making enemies whenever possible. Yeah... Oh, you, yeah. Wait, you two are amazing. You have? 
What, what changed your mind? All I did was yell at you. You. Thank you. Nah, that's what's up, man. Well, hey. Two peas in the pod. I have a bad habit of getting flushed. That's understandable. I completely understand that. Yes. Yes, I do. You were seek you were speaking. I wish you were in office. I really do. <laughs> well, I'm glad we were able to get our brink up, but I am I'm just right. That was good. That was good. My thinking changes when I'm with Huh. Yeah, sometimes all you need is some fresh new uh young blood something like that. Oh! Oh, by three? Okay, I'll take that! Alright. I shall ask you again another time. I wonder if my guts helped at all with. Because uh, I felt like what I was saying was pretty gutsy, you know? And my guts are. pretty gutsy? Pretty high. <laughs> pretty high. I don't wanna be repeating myself. You know, I was thinking Makoto would show up, and I'm like, oh boy, here we go again, and nah, nah, it's a catchy. What's up, bro? I didn't think we'd use the same station. Must Meeting here must be fate. Uh-huh, how are you doing? Uh, not bad. That's a good response. I've been getting interviewed a lot lately, so I've been wondering how to answer such questions. I suppose it's best to simply be yourself and think and say what you think. You've given me much to consider. So, can we skip class? Oh no. Uh, kids Shoot. these days. So I handed a bill over at the convenience store and they told me they don't take foreign, foreign currency. Okay. Um, no I don't. Yeah, yeah. Here's a quiz just to make sure you know your stuff. You know it, right? Paper money is issued by the Bank of Japan, but who issues the coins? Google. Apparently the government. Exactly. All right. Unlike paper money, the coins are issued by the government. Originally, the government made both coins and paper money. However, with the ability to make such money as they wanted, the economy felt. Yeah, makes sense. Bank of America. Uh, no, Bank of Japan. Similar. Sounds like the Bank of America. Nice going. Eh. I feel like I should start looking up questions more often, though. I don't want my knowledge to get behind. All right. Coins which don't have as much of an effect on the economy are still produced by the government. You simply can't trust the moron to look after your finances. That is true. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to be looking at the log a lot more. Because after missing that, I, I, I've been saying that. I forgot when I said it, but I know I said Morgana would be key. And if I had just looked at the log, I would have figured it out. And then that would have been something special. But anyways, being able to get as much money as you want, whenever you want. I, yeah, I feel like the next palace, I was, or either gluttony or greed, one of the two. Because we know our target. We just haven't met him yet. I think Makoto will, though, somehow. Oh, what's up? Listen. For a second, I thought there's no report of a lost item, so she wants. Okay. Ah. Uh... I'll just say I don't understand. She's telling me isn't gonna get you out of this. All right.
Yeah, speaking of every single time. <laughs> she she didn't even um she sent a proxy this time. But I'm hoping it's I'm hoping she's asking for our help. Can I um Hold on. Ah! Uh, I don't like his face on my chalkboard. It's my classroom. Okay. Third floor. Please, Makoto, ask for my help. Ask for my help. We can help you. And that's all I want. Wait, she said third floor. Well, that's a student council member. Is it here? Oh, wait, which one? That's the library. All right, let's see. If she's alone, then that's good news. Oh, she's alone. All right. Huh. Earlier than expected. Came as quickly as I could. Have a seat. All right. I'll get straight to the point. Mr. Kamashida and Madarame. Won't you tell me the truth behind the Phantom Thieves incidents? Hmm. So, another thing I wanted to point out, I think Makoto has taken the place, or is what I thought Sai was. Somebody who was investigating us, but once they found out the truth, you know, would help us out. I'm not sure if that's the case for Sai, but... Can't answer that? Oh, of course. There's no way you would admit to such things. Have a listen. She recorded us too? If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. It was at this moment that he knew. That gum it all, Ryuji. I, I told, I knew it. I, like, she, once she got the pick, like she has, like I said, if she wasn't gonna join us eventually, she'd have us. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? <sighs> what could all this mean? I have no idea. You don't hear my voice on there, do you? We screwed up. What you think, Morgana? Was it blackmail? Hypnosis? How do you corner someone into making them confess? Won't you tell me how you did it? Exactly like Nijima. Um... No. Because... I not I'm not I'm not trying to I don't want to do that. Like I don't want to throw Arn and Ryuji under the bus under the bus. I would have liked to have stopped them before we got in this position, but um what do I say? Uh Guess I'll say not sure what you mean. You want to say that this doesn't prove anything, don't you? Well, mm, I just want you to ask for my help. I believe that you three are the Phantom Thieves. Okay. Now, what would the police think if they heard my recording? Uh, we don't need to do this. It'd be bad if we're put under police surveillance. Yeah, I mean, we pretty much couldn't do anything then. There's no telling what'll happen to you, too. That is true. I really don't want that guy, okay. On the real though, if that guy does remember who I am, and he's at, we, we don't want, we don't want him he's somehow getting wind of this. If you confess the truth, I don't mind just leaving this between the two of us. Do I have an option? You'll tell me, won't you? I have the right to be silent? Uh, but that's basically, at this point, that's like saying I did it. Like. Sure, yeah, anything you can you say can you be you anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. It, I for, I don't know the rights by heart, but um and plus this isn't America anyways, but I think it's the same idea. What do I do here? Let me think. Like none of these sound particularly pleasing. Hmm. You know what? That's the same as admitting to it, you know. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, nothing I say will be really getting out of it. Go ahead. Hey, where you at? 
Taking a leak? Oh my! Let's meet up at the usual spot to hold our Phantom Thieves meeting. Ryuji, not the time! That idiot! Is it, wait, why was I on speaker? Why was it on speaker? Jason? As loud as always, but his timing's perfect. Why? 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 Why did you- I'd like everyone else to hear this as well. Uh... Won't you take me to your friends? I guess it can't be helped now. Yeah. But I'm hoping, I'm still holding out. I'm, the reason I'm not panicking is because I know we've seen what Makoto's doing, so. Oh. Hmm? Here? Yeah, and I brought company. Is that girl a friend of yours? What, what the hell? It's your fault, all right? It's your fault this has happened, Ryuji. What's the meaning of this? Well, I could have not answered the phone or put it on speaker. But I didn't have a choice, okay? I had him lead me here. Ryuji Sakamoto, on Takamaki, and you're Kitagawa-kun, correct? Second year at Kosei High and former pupil of Madarame. Yep, she's she's got everything. Like <laughs> she she would she would literally end this right now if she wanted to. I wanted to ask you all about this. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the family. An extremely similar technique was used for both Kamashita and Madarame. Yeah. While those affected by their acts were just coincidentally meeting up. We tri we moved once, and she found us again. How could that not raise suspicions? Yeah, yeah, it was like I'm I'm with you, Makoto. It was honestly pretty dumb. Uh, <laughs> I had no words, honestly. What do you intend to do? Have you come just to say you're going to report us? I bet someone told you to find us. The school can't have ties to criminals after all. Well, I mean, on that's legit. I mean, you know, if we were actually terrible people, you know, we should be investigating, but not by a student. Like, Makoto shouldn't have been put in this position. And yet they turn a blind eye when it comes to suicide and sexual harassment. Those adults are just using you. I feel sorry for you. Oh, she's not wrong. I... I know. Yeah. Huh? That's why I would like to verify the justice you speak of. Exactly! That's what I thought. Makoto would be... She wants to verify! You know, that's... She's learned everything. She's getting to the truth of the matter. And the only way to get to the truth is by, you know, basically saying, Guys, come on. I know who you are. Now let's talk. What? I'm the only one who knows about you. If you prove what you're doing is just, I'll erase this. She wants to make a deal. <laughs> well, don't we all? You scared we need to make a deal. Like, seriously, bro, why aren't you part of the squad? Well, you are, but, you know, we need you to get your, your rank up and everything. There is someone whose heart I'd like you to change. Don't tell me you're talking about the principal. Who? But the guy who's talking about the student, who's, um, uh, who's, the guy who's scamming students. Hmm. So you're not saying it's impossible? At this point, no. Like, you're too smart for this. Like, I know you know. So there's really no point in denying it. However, I cannot tell you that just yet. Okay. Let's continue our talk after school tomorrow. On the roof. Back on the roof? Why they? Well, I mean, no, 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 no. At this point, since Makoto was the person we were worried about, it'd be safer than in public because someone could be listening. Like, please, let hope we all learn from this. Assuming you accept my offer, that is. <sighs> this is turning into a real pain. Hopefully you learn from this, Ryuji. Like, everyone has a, has a phone nowadays, too. You were careless. I don't think you truly understood how high the stakes were. Anything to say, Ryuji? At least you stay speaking. Why are you singling me out? On got recorded, too, you know? Oh, yeah, but I, like, normally it's you, Ryuji. I'm so sorry. 
Hey, what should we do? We take her up on it. I mean, look, it's it's either this, all right? She turns us in, or she turn she turns us in, you know, or she puts us under suspicion. Like either way, you know, if Makoto intended to do us harm, she has everything she needs to do us harm already. So we take her deal. That girl's got dirt on us. A recording seems to be insufficient evidence, though. Mmm, it's enough to put us under suspicion, though. Like I said, I define it as harm, not necessarily, you know. But she, she knows, you know. So, just by going there to listen to what she has to say also wouldn't be, you know, exact. Like, no one can get evidence, you know, unless we're literally jumping out of a building of a target with a costume on. I still don't know how that went down, though. Like, no, our Phantom Thieves outfits... You know, we go in those when we're in uh, the metaverse. So why was I wearing it? Unless we needed to wear it for some reason. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. And even with that, there's no way they could prove our methods. Yes. But still, you know, sometimes, like, the right people would arrest us without needing proof, you know? Because there's corruption high up. Considering who we're dealing with, I think it might be a trap. For what, on? Regardless, this guy would be in real trouble. He's on probation, after all. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Things would get rough if we didn't have our leader. And I totally don't want to deal with the police. Then, we have no other choice but to go along with it. I'm sorry you're involved in this, Yusuke. Like, this is all our fault. You know, our school... Our mess up, our mishaps, and then you're just here. I apologize. Yes, it's best we agree, at least for the time being. On the behalf of the Phantom Thieves as leader, I do apologize. We made a crucial mistake, but not a critical one. We'll just have to recover from here on out. Yes, that's that's true, Morgana. Very, very nicely worded. Yeah, yeah, my bad. Ryuji, that don't sound like a real apology, my man. So, we doing this? It's our only choice. All right, we're meeting on the school rooftop tomorrow, yeah? Is Yusuke gonna be there, or...? What about me? Yeah. I could always sneak in if necessary. I feel like you shouldn't. Like, just stay on the sidelines. If we go down, at least you're still... At least you're still there. That'll draw too much attention. You should just wait outside, Yusuke. I just feel like you shouldn't be in the area, you know? What could she be scheming? She's trying to help students out. But, of course, we don't know that. <laughs> you are? Well, I mean... Yeah, like, we don't have a choice. We don't have a choice. Yeah? Let's turn... I wonder who it is. Yes. Unlike, well, I mean, she's asking, you know, for the validity of our actions, which isn't so, uh, like, even, like, if we put ourselves in her position, she knows that who we've targeted, they're actually bit horrible people. So she's like, all right, I see potential, but at the same time, you know, I want to know 100% what I'm getting into. Like, we've had so many talks about what we're doing is just or not. That's what she's doing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, I don't blame you, Yusuke. Hey. Be careful. Eh. Well, I mean, yeah, she kind of is, but like, all in the name of justice. All right. Can I leave, or are you gonna tell me to go to? I'm not even gonna say it. All right. This is a new view. People said they got. Ah. Uh, okay, those were interesting quotes. 
All right. Tuesday. Huh? You! Hadn't seen you in a bit. Um, I am. How do you even remember me? What about your job? Nope. Huh. Ichiko Oya? Uh, oh, huh? Or, oh. I'm just gonna call her Ichiko, alright? Or, you know, they go and change her name to her last name. Interesting, so she works nice. I mean, not so strange for a journalist. Here we are. I was thinking you might not show. Nah. So, whose heart do you want us to change? On, that's not why you start the conversation. Let her do the talking. A mafia boss. That's who I thought you looked like, honestly. Mafia? What are you talking about? I mean, guys, that's a good target, don't you think? That's what they call themselves. This group seems to be the cause of the rise in phishing scams. What's worse, once you're in their sights, they won't stop threatening you until they get what they want. I think we might have seen them, actually, in those um, text bubbles that appeared in the transition. I was wondering if they were out doing their thing. They'll force you to take part in their scams, threaten your family, and ultimately destroy your life. That's a suitable target. Holy shit. It appears that their victims include some of our students. I didn't even think about, like, I thought they were just being scammed, but that's happening to their families? No. They primarily target juveniles. That makes sense. I mean, easy targets. What's the boss's name? Nobody knows. The victims are being threatened not to testify. So even the police can't get a grasp of the situation. We can work around that with mementos. That's where you want us to start? I, we can work with that. That's enough info. You should be able to pull it off. If you're really the righteous band of thieves. Well, righteousness has nothing to do with it. We do have limits, but... Or is Akechi-kun correct? When he says you act without justice. Can't you say something witty back at her? Well, I would if the game would allow me. <laughs> something witty. Now, give us the details. Why are you being so serious? Because it's a serious situation. Their main hub of activity is in Shibuya. Kind of figured that. I mean, everything's in Shibuya nowadays. That's all the information I have. All right, we'll go talk to some shadows in that area and see if they have any information. You have two weeks. Oh. Okay, she's giving us a timeline. Once that is passed, I'll submit all the evidence I have to the police and to the school. Oh, Makoto! I hope you don't let me down. It's fine. She really had the upper hand in that exchange. Well, if the game will let me speak, maybe not, but yeah. <laughs> Don't let me down. Damn it, she was just bossing us around. Come on, we should get in touch with Yusuke. This isn't a bad deal, though. He is a person that we should take care of. Why? Oh, no! What? Did we tell her it's... Did we tell her it was Makoto? Please don't tell me we told her it was Makoto. Oh no, her eye! Student Council President from Chujin Academy? Oh, this isn't good. Or is it? Or I don't know. I don't know. Are you saying that Makoto was sticking her nose into this phantom thief business? I. I. Like, why do we not know? Like, how do we. Well, I mean, I guess. I'm assuming that we meet Sai in the future, and I thought it was when we visited Makoto and Sai was just there. If we did, then Jason, I question you mentioning... Well, anyways. Uh... You never noticed? Well, shame on you, Miss Prosecutor. Why would Makoto... You had a conversation, and you just brushed it aside. Bringing up my sister to upset me, are you? 
It seems there's no limit to your duplicity. All right, yeah, if you want to look at it like that, then fine. Fine. I'll listen to everything you have to say before I decide the truth of your statements. Does it matter? Does it really matter? I don't know. I'm so mad. The Mafia. Hmm. Can we really do this? Yeah, like I said, we already got a plan. Go through mementos, find some, you know, just... Or we could do some scouting, you know? Or, no, that's too... Hmm. We wouldn't need a way to narrow it down, otherwise we're just talking to a bunch of shadows all day. Either way, we have almost no information on our target. The fact that he's a mafia boss targeting students is a good start. This guy's a crime boss, so I wouldn't be surprised if he had a palace. Still. Isn't this a prime opportunity for us, though? Yeah. How? We're in huge trouble! We can get rid of Makoto's suspicion and also prove, you know, that we're more just by taking care of a mafia boss who no one would complain about. Even after we punished an evil man who seemed to be good, the public did not acknowledge us. Exactly. However, if we take down an actual criminal, let alone a target the police don't have answers for. True. Oh, right. That might make people believe in us. Yusuke's thinking. I get it. That means even a catch you'll have to acknowledge us as the Phantom Thieves. But I get a feeling his boss told him, hey, make him look as bad as possible. So I'm just convinced he's our enemy. What do you say, leader? I said I said that. A few seconds ago. Um, this is our chance. Hell yeah. We just gotta do what we always do. Our time limit is two weeks, correct? We can't afford to waste too much time. I'll ask around Kosei and see if there are any victims. Okay, I know some girls who go to Shibuya pretty often. I'll check with them about it. Both of those sound like good options. All right. And I'm gonna see what I can find on the net. I don't have much faith in that one, though. That leaves our school up to you and Morgana. You're leaving that to me? Okay. You figured out what to do during the whole Kamoshida thing, right? I mean... Kinda? I'll back you up. Alright, let's get back together at the end of the week once we've got all our info. So we're only gonna have a week to do this palace? I'll get in touch with you guys later. Okay. I just hope wherever it happens, I'm not ending up in this palace alone. Don't do that to me, guys. Okay. Hey. Oh, what's up, Yusuke? Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on. We'll go home together. Well, we'll go to the cafe together. Indeed. Yeah, it is a nice place for it. What's wrong? The money? I'm in need of your assistance. Please listen to what I have to say. Hmm. Throughout my artistic career, there have been moments I've struggled with particular motif motifs or techniques. However, those struggles came to pass on each occasion. Yet now I find myself in a similar situation, but the more I try to escape it, the worse it becomes. Ah, yeah. I gotcha. To tell the truth. Yeah, I remember you saying that. <sighs> yeah. Don't I know? I also attended school on a full um, on a full ride. So, were I to lose my scholarship, I would likely have no choice but to leave the school as well. In the other days of my career, I would exclusively paint what I desired when I desired it. The only goal I had in mind was the pursuit of pure beauty. That goal is what drove me onward. I wanted nothing more to attain the lustrous allure of the Sayuri in my own work. Yet what reason do I have now? Keep... Ah... Uh... Oh, well, 
I mean, clearly he's stressed. I'll say this. My apologies. No, no, you didn't get carried away. I see what you're saying for your profession. Yeah, it is a nice painting. I think you're trying to focus too much on replicating it instead of finding your own style, Yusuke. <sighs> so what are you... What is the heart? How does it bring forth such beauty? I am unsure of how to do so. Um, I can't help but think about when you wanted to paint on... He was clearly passionate about that. If I can. Oh, really? I'd be glad to help. I'm in your debt. At the moment, my art teacher has yet to notice my, any drastic changes in my work. Well, we can go on adventures, you know, go sightseeing and... Oh, you have a curfew? Jeez. So I checked online, people are talking about it all over. Ida of 2D of class 2D is guilty. Yeah, I was about to say, like, he's been spending money. Oh. Well, not guilty, but you know, like, he's being he's a victim. That is true. That's a smart uh, that's a smart um plan. All right, leave it to me. From talk, <laughs> Ryuji, Ryuji, wrong for that. Hey. All right. And now it's time for the question of the day. And can we just talk about the fact that? I had so much faith in Makoto and literally the situation where she could have turned this in. It's just, I just find that ironic how she was my number one suspect beforehand and now I just have so much faith in her. It's, it's amazing how the progress can go and you know, I wouldn't have been able to have that if it weren't for the admins keeping things clean out of the comment section. Because if people gave me opinions about Makoto, then you know, maybe I would have changed my mind earlier on or you know. I just like seeing that and I hope you guys did too but anyways on to the question of the day I spent like two hours trying to think of something and when I tell you guys that the question of the days are sometimes why episodes take longer to come out because no, two hours I could have been working on another episode I may have had to finish another episode by now uh, but the question of the days actually are a huge part of why episodes I don't get them out as quickly so if you do have suggestions, guys, please leave them. I'm only not saying them because many of the questions people have given me are questions that I feel like I should ask later or might invite spoilers. So, and I know it's hard, but still, if you can help, just one question helps me get the episode that uh, episode out that much faster. But anyways, um, the question today this time is going to be: Have you ever been in a creative slump? And if so, what did you do to get out of it? Uh, yeah, that's the best I got for this one. So please, post your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.